What's up guys, it's Poir, and today we're gonna go off the beaten path a little bit to the path to immortality. I am immortal. And more importantly, demigod status, aka a tanky build that can dish out damage. So I'm gonna have two versions, one for people that want a super tank, and one for people that want reasonable kill times toward the 10 or sub 10 minute mark. For both Greatsword and Charge Blade, but as you see in the background, this is Master Rank Furious Rejang against the Immortal version of the build, and it can barely scratch me. I simply regen and reduce damage too much, and that's not even including Blood Rite or Pet Stuff. And against Anomalies, it's even more broken since while they hit harder, one Rage Slash or Adamant Slash or SAD from CB will bring you back 40% of your life minimum. But of course, these Immortals take longer to kill monsters, so I'm going to present the version I'm most proud of, the Demigod builds, the damage versions, which are tanky gods that can tank nearly as well, but get much faster killing times on, say, Tier 4 Anomalies, with weapons I'm not even good at, like Charge Blade, in this case here, against one of my most hated monsters. <laughs> So gonna have a few variations each for both GS and CB. Other weapons, you can figure it out yourself, but the base is essentially around the same three pieces. Kushala Gloves, Malzino Waist, and Kushala Legs. Kushala's Blessing Level 3 makes it so you recover past red recoverable damage, but we also get the new Super Dango Recovery skill, which also does this, and they both stack. Add on Blood Rite and you can heal back even more, although not Blood Rite 3 as that's way overkill in my opinion, level 2 or 1 is the perfect amount to then get some quality of life or damage in. Level 3 just hinders your build too much, you're gonna live without blood right anyways, so you kinda don't need it at all, but we're just gonna keep it in for thematic reasons. Moving to Petco, Cat. Doesn't have to be Healer Cat, but as long as you have Clover Bat, it'll be great. Power Drum is nice for more defense and obviously damage, but with Clover and the rest of your heals, you'll be going to full HP in seconds very often. However, personally, at least for GS, I think Double Dogs with Umbrella and Heal Blade Scroll are a bit better, but your choice. CB or more ranged weapons want the cats, while Doges are nice for GS. But equip a Sleep or Para weapon on them so they can immobilize monsters so you can regen more or deal more damage. Food, very important, you want Super Recovery Dangle Level 4. Then Defender High and your choice for the third, but I like Shifter since we'll be running Quick Breath on GS, otherwise pick the Green Defender 1 as the third slot for Charge Blade. But I repeat, you must get level 4 Dango for Super Recovery in order for it to be continuously active. Otherwise, level 3 or lower, it'll only be active when a monster spots you, which sucks, so level 4, mandatory. And two last items to note are Gourmet Fish and Immunizers. Both of these also speed up recovery of your health and it can take the bills to even more ridiculousness. You can get Gourmet Fish from Cooking Fish from Motley Mix at the Canteen. And for Immunizers, I believe you can craft it or you can get them from Rondine's Special Goods time to time, so keep a lookout. Now the build, starting with GS, quickly, your switch loadout should be normal TCS and Strong Arm on red and then Rage Slash and Adamant on blue. You want to use TCS when the monster is knocked down for more damage, but otherwise, Rage and Adamant Cycle is your main game plan. Build 1. Budget Immortal Build. This is using a 3-2-1 charm and is the super tank version, but you still get a little bit of damage with Wex 3. Past Defense 7, defense is not worth stacking. The build gets near 800 defense anyways, and 815 or 830 will do diddly squat for reducing damage, so... I think a mix of tanky and damage is best. But you get Blood Rite 2, Defense 7, Divine Blessing to reduce damage more, Recovery Speed and Up to regen more, and Stun Res 3 because it's mandatory for Greatsword. Also, the Greatsword builds have Quick Breath, which lets you recover from most splites by switching scrolls. Even something like Camellios' Poison, simply Quick Breath 1 to 2 times and its poison is gone. And you heal a bit too. So instead of rolling a Fireball, for example, and stuff, Switch scrolls instead. For the weapon, Kamura is best as it gets a decent amount of purple, 330 raw, and has 4-2 slots. I tried Camellios' Greatsword a while back, but to be honest, my kill times were slower with it, so I don't think the poison is worth it without Foray, which is hard to fit without a charm. But for Rampage Deco, for all the builds today, you want an anti-species jewel for more damage against said species, but usually Dragon is the best overall one. The other budget version is this one, using Hermitar's GS, same 3-2-1 charm, and similar stats to Kimura, but no purple, 
but you get elemental. So if you wanted surf slash style greatsword, then this may be nice against water weak monsters like Magnamello. But those are the immortal versions. Now, moving to the damage versions. These get all the main ingredients of the immortal builds, but just lose defense boost completely. And with that, you get hit for a little more, but regen the same way, except you get like way more damage. I think these versions are the best ones for multiplayer, not the full immortal builds, since monsters will seldom attack only you, letting you just regen whatever hit you took by the time the next attack comes. So build 3, god version with god charm with Kimura greatsword. You do go down to blood right 1, but because of the damage, you're going to activate that blood right faster than the immortal version can, and again, this tanks nearly as well, just a 100 defense difference for way more damage, and focus 3 lets you get those ray slashes out in time to capitalize on the damage bonus you get from being hit within the last 2 seconds of unleashing it. And for the budget version of this, you lose attack 4, but max might becomes 3, and you still retain focus, so comparison is losing defense 7, but getting you 30% more affinity, 10% more damage from crit boost, and focus 3. However, this build specifically needs a Divine Blessing level 3 charm, and if you can get a level 2 slot alongside it, then crit boost to 3 would be a nice 5% damage bonus. So, those are my GS builds. I really like the Rage Slash Cycle Loop, and these are probably the best way to play that style, so hope you have fun. Now, moving to Charge Blade, which doesn't tank as good because Rage Slash and Adamant Slash reduce damage, but you get a big ol' shield and CPP, so you're gonna block most hits anyways. This is mainly for CPP into SAED style, not Pizza Cutter style. Starting with Budget Immortal first, this one uses Garen Golem's Charge Blade, which has high raw and long blue. And sharpness doesn't really affect file damage too much, so you don't really have to worry about white or purple. But this is gonna be the only impact file build, the damage versions will all be elemental. But yeah, pretty similar to GS Immortal, except you get Rapid Morph 3 and Low Shells 2 in place of Wex, since again, files can't crit. You also get Guard 3 to help block and counter better with CBP and Guard points. But now, going to the damage versions, since Kushala's Blessing gives 10% increase to Ice and Water, the best elemental charge blades for this are Vikes for Water and Aurora Somnicants for Ice, which is this one, the God version with God Charm. Losing Defense 7 and 1 Blood Right gets you Ice Attack 5, Wex 3, 1 Chain Crit, and 1 Offensive Guard and can dish out 2 to even 400 damage per file against a Moldron or things like Diablos. This is my favorite build out of all the builds today. Elemental CB is insanely strong, and since most of the damage increase is coming from Ice Attack, you gain majority of the damage full offensive builds have, but with way more tankiness. But for video link's sake, here are the budget versions for both Ice and Water. These need a 2-2 slot Rapid Morph 2 charm, which is kind of above normal budget, but both get Ice or Water Attack 5 and lose some of the Wex stuff compared to the God version, which should still dish out similar damage. And of course, you get all the defensive stuff I mentioned. So, those are my Immortal builds for Greatsword and Charge Blade. You could probably do something similar with Switch Axe, with ZSD or even Invincible Gambit, that could be a decent choice. I did try HPG with Garen Golem's spread HPG with guard, so even if you normally take chip damage from the shield attachment, the regen will just recover health for you, keeping you at full health most of the time. So this archetype can branch out to many weapons, but I still prefer damage. Which speaking of, Dereliction video will finally be the next video, which is the exact opposite of this, so look forward to that. But if you want to see more videos like this, let me know by liking the video, comment down below what you'd like to see next, and to not miss it, subscribe and hit the notification bell for more Sunbreak epicness.